Hello students. Today I will be teaching you a new project in Scratch. We will title the project as Day and Night. So where it is written untitled, you will write Day and Night and press the enter key. Now in this project we do not want this cat character so we will delete it. Now in the state children from the backdrops we will choose a backdrop of a day. So you can choose blue sky or you can scroll down on the right hand side and you can choose a colorful city. So this becomes my backdrop for morning day. Now I need another backdrop for night. So from the choose a backdrop I again click to open the backdrop library and now I scroll down to look for a night background. I can take this night city. Now you are in the stage area students and if you see on this left hand side you have coding tab in the coding tab you will not see motion blocks because you cannot move the stage. Motion blocks are only seen for the sprites. So we have not selected the sprite. We have selected the stage. Hence there are no motion blocks. Next to code we have backdrops tab. When I click on the backdrops tab we have the colorful city here and one more backdrop as night city. Also, this is a blank backdrop. If you don't need it, you can always delete it. Now, we go back to the coding and we will take the sprite. One sprite we will take which is for the sun. So, I choose a sprite and in the search here, I will type sun. So, I get the sprite for sun. Now, this is the sun sprite. When I click on the costumes, I will see there is only one costume for sun. Now students, we do not have the moon costume or moon sprite in the scratch library. So what we will do is, we will paint a new costume for this sprite. So first of all, for the sun sprite, we will change the name as sun and moon so over here you can see we have changed the name as sun and moon and i press the enter key now we already have the sun costume and from here we will choose the paint option to paint a new costume so you can see a new blank costume has sh is showing here now we can use either a circle tool or the brush tool to draw your moon so i click on the circle tool and draw the circle it is filled with the purple color and there's a boundary of the black color if i want to choose a fill color differently so i will have to click on the bucket tool here the paint fill tool and then i choose a black color for my sun if i want a white color for my sorry moon and then click here so this becomes my moon. If you want to paint it yourself, you can do that also. Another sprite if I want. I use the paint brush. And now it is drawing with a white color. But I don't want the white color. I just undo it. Choose a black color for the border. And then I'll draw my moon. A crescent moon maybe I can draw like this. You must make sure that the shape is completely closed. If it is no, not closed, the fill color will seep out of it. So I will choose now the fill bucket tool and the color, whatever I want to fill inside this, the moon. So this, if you can change the costume name here, instead of costume 2, I can write here crescent and here this costume one i can delete and write it as full moon okay so now we have three costumes 
for sun and moon sprite now we come back to the coding so we have to do the coding for the sun and moon sprite we start with events and when the green flag is clicked as soon as the green flag is clicked we want to switch to the morning backdrop so students here below motion we have the looks blocks in the looks blocks you have switched backdrop to command this one so you bring the switch backdrop to and when you click on this arrow you can see the names of the two backdrops you have so for the morning we'll choose colorful city and also in the morning which is the costume for sun and moon you have to choose from switch costume to and when i click on this arrow i can choose among all the three costumes so i choose sun costume now i want sun to be placed i want to reduce the size of the sun first of all not 100 i will make it supposedly 65 okay this is a good size and i want to place it down here from where the sun will start rising so i have to use which command to make it place over there from motion i have to use the go to xy command so first place it wherever you want it to start from and then press the go to xy so now even if the sun is here but when i press the green flag it starts from here right okay now we have to make the sun go up continuously repetitively so we will use from control repeat block and the sun has to start moving up if i just use the motion command to make it go so you will see when i press the green flag the sun is moving towards the right hand side but we want it to go upwards so we before the repeat block what do we have to do children we have to change the direction of the moon and that has to be upwards from here point in direction 0 and then repeat 10 let us see now what happens so now the sun moved upwards 10 times 10 10 steps each so we need to increase the number of repetitions i will make it suppose 30 let us see now how the sun moves right if you're a little more you want it to be up you can increase the repetition to 32 supposedly right so now the sun will rise and go up in the sky at this point from looks the sun will be saying good morning for two seconds after that we want the sun to start setting so can you guess what will be the commands when the sun has to come down again now again from control you have to bring the repeat block and we'll repeat the same number of times 32 times and now it will move down so move 10 steps but instead of 10 we'll make it minus 10 let us run the project now so the sun rises says good morning and then starts going down sometimes children you may say that the sun should move in a diagonal direction not exactly in a um, up direction like this so we can change the direction from here maybe minus 15 let us see this so now the sun is rising slanting says good morning and then sets back in the same direction now after this we want to show it as a night so we will now switch the costume for the sun into moon first of all so switch costume to full moon and we will switch the backdrop to night city okay let us see now so it sun rises then it 
starts moving down it switches to night city and the moon is it the costume of the sun has changed into moon it is showing it has gone down here a bit of it is showing there now again we have to start making the sun moon rise so what we can do is we can just repeat these commands if i go here i can just from repeat 32 i can duplicate and the same commands i bring it here and attach them down here let us is now instead of good morning it will say have a lovely evening let us run this project now so in the beginning it starts with morning sun rises sun sets now the moon you can see and the moon rises and sets if you don't want the moon to set so you can remove this blocks and the moon will remain there and now when i run this if you want you can increase the number of steps here uh maybe to 35 let us see so the sun rises says good morning and then the sun the moon rises and says have a lovely evening okay students so here we learned the new commands for switching the costumes we drew the two costumes for sun we already had we drew full moon and crescent and two backdrops we we have taken and we use switch costume and switch backdrop commands i hope you enjoy creating this new project have a lovely day bye